Forge to succeed pressure. Let's just get to it. All right, first things first, you need to understand that dash C, this is an 11 frame advancing mid. It's 11 frames. And then 2-2A is plus 7 on block. Now, 6-6C, 2-2A is a 6 frame gap and it's plus 7 on block. If you have a 5 frame, you can challenge. How do Gords stop you from challenging? They do 6 6 into Mortal Slide. One frame, natural gap, this is one frame, you will explode and you will die, because that's one of their best starters in the corner, especially on counter hit. Now, if you shield the 6 6 you can challenge if you're not a 5 framer. So I'm pressing my 7 frame here, as high, because it's a naturally a 6 frame gap, but on shield it becomes a 9 frame gap, okay? I trade there because it's 9 frames, so if you trade, you die, as you can see, he gets a combo. So, now what do we do if we block the six to, to block the 2-2-A and we didn't get that block, and we didn't shield anything? Well, it's like infinite pressure and we explode. Plus 7, I can't do anything, his 2-B counter pokes me. However, if I shield the 2-2-A, his 2-B might whiff. If he might also do 4, four you know, uh, dash B, right? And dash B is unfortunately very good, uh, very hard to uh, counter poke. This one is a little difficult. So, honestly, if possible, you should just block and get the grid, right? Or interrupt in between. If you block, if you end up blocking the two two a even on shield, it's probably not the best idea to challenge. And last thing about six six c, other than that, is one once they condition you, they start going for this, which is like six c no cancel asm. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, and one final thing about six six c two two a is that they can do this, which is they can basically. Cancel it on block. It's really hard to set this up, but essentially, if they see your reversal during this, they can cancel it. Okay, they can literally just cancel it. It's it's an ex cancel. So be very careful to not get your CS baited there. Jesus for the love of God.